welcome back guys in today's video myself as well as my good friend Kyle Rust Belt Mechanic on YouTube make sure you check him out he's doing some pretty cool stuff in today's video guys we are going to Dino the wife Max because we didn't blow her up the last three pulls so she's here I don't know how it's gonna happen especially with the way things are going with that truck but not yet at least not yet at least yeah stay tuned we may blow her up <laughs> today we may do a dirt drag today too I'm not too sure however we do have the two turbos in your truck Yep, um, gonna, we haven't dynoed it yet. Still haven't. We still haven't. Nope. LP. We did when we had the big 68 race turbo on it. That made 640 horse. With a single. With a single 68 race turbo. And now we've got the compound set up, dual fuel, I think 80 over injectors, and we've got 6466 Ryans in the valley with a S475 on top. So we're gonna see what 60 pounds of boost and putting the full force through the big girl does and a stock bottom end. So like he stated before, stock bottom end, two turbos, he's got the 60 over injectors, the 10 millimeter pump? Uh, no, I've got dual stocks. Dual stocks, I'm sorry, two CP3s, so dual feelers, built trans. Yep. Um, built trans and transfer case. So you've got a axle, lot going gearing. on, it's just studded, that's about it. Uh, and he's absolutely right, he may scatter that bottom end today. Um, and luckily he's only 50 minutes from home. Still be a tow bill. Still, yeah, still be a tow bill. Right, yeah. Now, with the Wife Max, we have 400,000 miles on this bad girl. <laughs> and I have a stock bottom end as well with a big charger, Ryan's Diesel Service 68, to You're be exact. You're rolling the dice more than I am. Yeah, but I have a trailer. That's true. So, but I do have the big bad boy LBZ. Well, you guys are like, why didn't you bring L5P? Why didn't you just take the reliable diesel truck? <laughs> yeah, but I'm only three hours, so it's not really that big of a deal. Shut up! So here we go, we're day two. I was just thinking about it, it's kind of like the diesel power challenge, you know, you do the uh, sled pull and then you do the dyno. And then I think I'm gonna, like I said, I'm not sure, but I think I may do the dirt drag as well. I gotta lift these keys because I'm rubbing like bad. But I'm really curious to see what kind of numbers we hit, especially with the wacky tuning we got going on with this old LB7. But I'm gonna drive over there right now, let's see what happens. Man, there's some nice looking trucks out here today, boys, look at this. This is one thing I love about coming to these truck meets, is you don't get like all these flashy show trucks, which don't get me wrong, the flashy show trucks are pretty sweet, but it's really neat to see these uh, just everyday guys like you and me, you know, bringing out their pickups and showing them off, cleaning them up. It's really cool. Can you jump in your bed? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm just going to the dyno. Yeah, I know. That's what I was yeah, yeah, get in. For sure. And of course, like all these truck meets, you can just... You can just drive around, you know, and uh, just enjoy the day. It's really cool. Just really low key and neat. I love it. Just checking out some cool trucks out here. Oh boy. This is good. We got this truck blowed up. They don't even care about that. He's more concerned about the numbers, man. Yeah truck runs, this particular truck right here, it runs 1108 in the quarter mile, and we know it weighs exactly 5,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So it should make, on the worst day, I mean on the worst day, it should make 727. Yeah. And that's worst case scenario. And that's a deep bump 24 valve. Correct. Yeah. You know, worst case scenario, but with a bigger jet in it than what we've done here, Yeah. you're going to, I mean, they're saying it made like 650. Yeah. Right? yeah look, look, okay, let's call it how it is, all right? Every dyno we go to, we say the same thing. The dyno numbers are off. Okay, yeah, that's way off. That's yeah, hundreds, but like two hundred. But but really, I walked up here because I just saw a big puddle of coolant on the on, on the bottom there. You didn't blow blow a motor or something. Yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. right on. I think we should be good minus that. But it's just, they were just kind of trying to let it cool down. And yeah. Then uh, before being around it, you know, you don't want to be up there unhooking it and the hose blow off and burn you. So they just yeah. let it cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna pull it off. All right. I think we're ready to rock. I'm ready to do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> So there's his setup right there. And then we have the wife Max, she's chilling right there. And we still have the nose down attitude in the front because I'm, again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna dirt drag this truck or not. So I did keep the keys out or the uh, bolts out of the keys today. I'm gonna go a little low. 
I'm, I think I'm going to say 7... 720. 720? Yeah. I'm going to go for a 720 guess. We're going to be hoping to shoot for at least 740. Okay. 7, 745 is what... Uh, guys pushing all the buttons and everything are hoping at least it'll do and I don't know maybe it'll surprise us maybe it'll hit 775 800 Ooh, 800 would be sweet to see I think your torque is gonna be insane though yeah the torque is gonna be awesome I'm excited to see that probably 1500 foot-pounds I'll call that right now oh I, I, at least 1400 because with the single setup it was at uh, t just under 1200 so yeah this would be good yeah, oh yeah 720, 1500 foot pounds of torque. Keep watching, guys. Let's see what happens. A lot of guys think two turbos, dual fuelers, built trans, 1000 horsepower all day. I've seen that with the LB7s, but with the LBZs, I don't know. It's, I guess it just depends on the tuning. We'll find out. It'll be a good time. That sounded pretty cool. 660. Interesting. I wonder why it is only 660. Well, here goes full two. Ready? Sounds like 1230. 1230. I knew it was going to be up there. What was the horsepower on the second one? 745. 745. 745. Dude. How about that? 745 horse. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. It's getting interesting. Can we get that 750? Oh, man. Hopefully, that trans doesn't slip any worse. The injectors don't have any more. Yeah, you're gonna need 100 overs, brother. Yeah, the injectors max out there. Guys, so. Nice. Very cool. Very good. Hey, that's what we were thinking. That's what we were thinking. We were right there. We were being realistic too. We're not shooting for a high number. So nice. And congrats. And blow up. So and you got an I extra a, 100 horsepower. I gotta drive it home. <laughs> you got an extra 100 horsepower, pretty much. Yep. With that second turbo. Yep. That's cool, man. So he's excited that he didn't blow up his truck because he, like I said, he's got like a 45 to 50 minute drive home. But it is what it is. So. Let's go and get the wife max up there. A little nervous. Respectable 600 horsepower is what I'm going after on this one. I do have a touch more fuel than Kyle does. Matter of fact, they were actually just talking about if he didn't have 37s on there, he would have probably been in the 800 horsepower range. If he had like 16 inch rims or something. But um, let's see what happens. 600 horsepower is what I'm guessing. What are you thinking? 100 overs, 10 mil pump, lots of fuel, not a lot of turbo. Bigger charger. It's a 68, but isn't it? It is a 68. I bet you do. I bet you do 630. We just pulled a sled last night three times. Motor's got 400k on it. I got my wife on FaceTime. Dad. You want to watch your truck uh, go in the dyno? Yeah. All right. So I got the phone. I got the FaceTime going on right now. So Mrs. Truckmaster can watch her truck. I don't know if that goes sideways or not. 
Here, let's do something here. So unfortunately, Mrs. Truckmaster cannot make it to the event, so I have my cell phone propped up and she's watching. She's watching live. Pop off. 526. 526. We'll see what the second pull does. What was the foot pounds? Oh yeah, it's fine. That's 526. Yeah, my LBZ got more than that. There's no way. <laughs> so I say you might want to go up there and see if that 90 degree boots Six, 797 foot pounds. Yeah, obviously there's something quirky going on with the truck. Something's weird. Obviously, that's uh, my LBZ puts down more power than this thing. So something's going on with the truck. However, we probably done. I probably did something last night when I was pulling the sled. It could have. So I think that we need to work through our issues and get her dialed in. It's something else to work on. Yeah, like, you don't have anything else to do anyways, oh, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, 568 horsepower for what we got for the LBZ Duramax with way less performance modifications. So, like I said, not upset about it. There's something going on. We need to just figure it out. Duramax is obviously broke. There's something going on with her. Just got off the phone with one of my really close friends. There's two in particular that have the same exact setup that I have, and they're both very much in the 700 horsepower range. I called them, told them what's going on, and they thought they were laughing. They thought it was it was just a joke at this point. So it's a sweet spot for these LB7s. The 10 millimeter pump, 100 overs with a 68 millimeter charger, and then of course a built transmission and you know whatever else we could put to the ground on it. But the fuel and air is where I'm getting at. You should be well into the 680, 700 horsepower range. So, uh, you know, 530, we can't take that number seriously. I have to get this thing tuned correctly. There's no difference between tune one and tune five is where I'm getting at. Rolling coal like a freight train in tune one and in tune five, there's no difference in RPM or, you know, off the bat get, nothing. So something is really, really wrong with this build. There's something that's out of whack, but we're gonna dial her in. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and hit the dirt track. That's what we're doing right now. Like I said, she broke anyways. Let's go ahead and send it. Obviously, we don't have that problem. I did four-wheel drive. Uh, I heard a boom, and that's about all she wrote. The other problem that I'm having, let's see what kind of trouble codes we got. Not that it really matters. I heard a, I heard a thud, so something, something thudded, something messed up. We've got a couple codes. Pressure control solenoid B. Seems like a trans issue. Transmission control. All right, guys, so I just shut the truck off. 
because I'm going through every little gear, two high, four low, four high, doing everything I can to see if I can at least catch a gear, a single gear, so I can at least drive this thing out. And I'm having no luck. So, um, you know, I heard a thud. When we, I was just sitting there boosting. I didn't do anything different. I just was sitting there boosting, and then all of a sudden I heard a thud. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't go anywhere. So I'm going to sit here and figure this out. But either way, I'm probably going to go ahead and pull my trailer in here and get this thing on the trailer at least because I we can't we can't sit here like this, you know. But yeah, I think I just blew the wife max up. <sighs> Clicky blinking thing right there obviously isn't good. I'm trying to go in reverse. Neutral. Drive. It may start clicking again. Yep, there it goes right there. Go to three. Two. We don't have two. Um, nope, we don't have one. I was kind of hoping I could grab something at least, you know, so I can get a moving. That'd be kind of neat. that it matters the truck's off now so you're not gonna get an accurate reading but at least you'll get an idea if there's any fluid left looks like there's a lot of fluid left but I gotta wipe it off first just out of curiosity it's low which it's, it's fine yeah, we're good it doesn't smell burnt either it smells good it smells like transmission fluid so we're good there I knew exactly what I was going for with this build um it's not rated to do what I'm trying to do. I need billet internals. And that's what he told me. He kept stressing that to me. And I didn't listen to dad. <laughs> Mark, I know you're watching this right now. So, uh, and you know what, it makes a lot of sense. I don't mean to rant here, but yesterday when we pulled the sled, when I pulled the sled, it fell right on her nose right at the end, about three quarter down the track. So obviously I'm not, I'm missing something. The truck wasn't shifting going down gear. So I wasn't hitting every gear. So what I'm thinking is I blew that trans on the first pull. This is just the icing on the cake. What's up, man? It didn't look too good out there. Did you hear it? No, not really. I didn't. I didn't really hear anything. I just. I, don't know, I think it's the output shaft or the transfer case. Yeah. Oh, output on the on the transfer case? Output shaft in the trans or the transfer case? Yeah, it's one of the two. I heard it like very distinctly coming from like right in the center of the cab. Like I'm not in the center of the cab, but right underneath the jump. Yeah, I heard seat. whenever you put it, you went to put it back up in park. I could hear it. It kept clicking. Yeah, but I think that's part of the. Um, I don't like that, but it happens something broke. That might have something to do with the limb mode. push on the truck, see if it's in park. Yeah, it's, it's it won't out, park. It out probably won't have park, yeah. It won't then, have park. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's true. That's it's good. good, but that's probably what it is, man. Well, yeah, I was just that's... like I was just explaining in the video. Oh, by the way, this is Dylan, uh, Dirty Diamond Diesel. Check him out on YouTube. Sorry about the wind, guys. I know it's really windy yeah, right now. Yeah, it's about out here today. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, we have some history as well as Mason as well. Um, but yeah, no, they came out to my house, drove all the way up from Michigan, from Indiana. I really appreciate their help when we assembled the uh, Cummins. We put everything together and air dogged it was, up. And I was really hoping to see it here today, but yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. is Waiting on parts, good old in America. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, well, I seen you dynoed it today. What did it make on the dyno? 5:30, but obviously the trans was smoked anyways. Yeah, you think the trans may be slipping, and that's why it was. Well, you bet, you bet. We didn't really get any footage of this actually last time we were up at the house, but this is actually Truckmaster's wife. Oh, she's LB gonna be seven. It was an LLY that you swapped into an LB7. Yeah, she's not gonna be happy, dude. She doesn't know yet. She doesn't know I yet. I don't want to tell her. Either. You should honestly just wait and get her initial reaction on camera. Tell her that you broke her truck. He said the same thing. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm actually. Yeah, that would be I'm more nervous about me telling her what just happened than, uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, you're more nervous about telling her than even dealing with the issue yourself. Yeah, because I could pull a trans, you know, no problem. I could pull this thing out in two hours. Right. I mean, yeah, that's about right, actually. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool if it was something just like a transfer case. You could just throw a transfer case in it, but I don't know, man. I hope it's a transfer case. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, you probably got one sitting around. <laughs> don't blame it on the builder, okay? Don't do that. I am beating the absolute crap out of this truck, okay? There is, and it, nothing's billet, okay? So for some of you guys, some you naysayers out there, they're gonna leave some really nasty comments about whatever. It's not the builder, okay? It's me, we're having fun, I'm beating on my trucks, and this is, you know, this is why, this is why I'm doing this, so. And uh, you gotta pay to play, right? Yeah, 
Uh, man, I don't want some. If it's a tea case, we're good, man. We're good to go. If I smoke that tea let's case. See if, let's get a couple people to push it. Yeah, like he rolls. said, let's see if it'll roll if it's in park. Uh huh. Because if it's in. Your park falls in the transmission, it's not in the right. transmission case. And if the That's output true. shaft would be broke, then it would spin. Mm hmm. Let's try it. Oh, it's in park. <laughs> she rolling? <laughs> yeah, she's rolling, dude. That's, that's no bueno. No bueno. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Truckmaster. So for some of you guys that don't know what's going on here, the truck's rolling freely and it's in park. Yeah. And normally, I mean, not super familiar with Allison's and stuff that breaks in them, but normally, I mean, in a Dodge, that's either a broken output or something in a transfer case. I'd say it's probably the output shaft on the trans. It's broke, so it's just spinning freely. We need to call Mark and figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to. I think he's going to be very Give him a call and see what he has to say. Yeah, I don't want to. Broken intermediate shaft or something in the trance. Mm. If it doesn't move, period. What does the fluid smell like? This smell it smells clean. It smells so, so, you, so you didn't smell clutches, you broke hard parts. Fill it input shaft. So, input shaft, it could be intermediate shaft, it could be anything. Yeah, but like, so, but like I said, I can roll it in, in any gear, it'll roll with the truck off you can just push it around like it's nothing yeah yeah so. yeah i'm more worried about telling you and melanie actually isn't she there with you no oh she's not oh gotcha well i don't care what you do it's your truck <laughs> we have to probably talk to garen about getting hard parts for it yeah i'm gonna be calling garen mason to the rescue What's the problem here? What are we doing here? What's that? What, what are we doing here? What's the See problem? What's going on right now? I gotta bring in them bolts to make the truck go. Eek, eek.